All right, welcome everyone. It's your boy JB in the place to be, and today's topic of discussion is the Xfinity Storm Ready Wi Fi Extender. Uh, what does it do, and is this something you might want to explore yourself? Yeah, so if you stick around to the end of the video, I share an experience that I had with an Xfinity salesperson. Uh, that way, if this is something you want to explore as an option for yourself, you'll be better prepared for their selling tactics. All right, so let's begin. All right, so on the screen, we can see the features of the Storm Ready Wi Fi extender. Uh, we're not going to go through this entire list, but what we are going to focus on is the 4G LTE cellular connection in the event of a network or power outage and the four hour time limit slash power sensing function. I find these to be uh, the elements of, the, of this device that are the most important to the usability of this product. So the power goes out or the network goes down. But you still have service, right? That's a great idea, right? That, that, that's awesome, right? So how do they do it, right? I, I, I think that's important. How do they do it? How does it work? Does Comcast have their own cell towers? No. <laughs> no? They don't, right? But they, they do, but they don't. So Comcast has the Xfinity mobile product right it's their phone service that they offer to comcast and xfinity customers right and how does that work yeah the technical term for xfinity mobile is nvno nvno stands for mobile virtual network operator and it's a wireless communication service provider that doesn't own the wireless network infrastructure over which it provides services to its customers it enters into a business agreement with a mobile network operator to provide bulk access to network services at wholesale rates then sells retail prices independently yeah, so if we were to reword that, essentially they buy phone and data packages from the mobile network operator and then market them to their own customers, right? If we were to dummy that down even further, uh, they're renting a cellular plant. Whose cellular plant? Verizon's cellular plant, okay? And seeing as how Xfinity has a mobile customer count of over 5 million lines, they gotta be doing something right this may be a great idea why build an entirely new plant when you can rent someone else's knowing this let's sidestep for a moment into the speeds when looking at the verizon faq we can see 30 and 7 but when i chatted with a verizon tech support online we can see that i should expect a speed range of anywhere between 25 and 50 down and 5 to 7 up so it really depends on your source and who you're asking the question to. The fact of the matter is that the data delivered over a cellular connection will always be inconsistent. Reception and line of sight are just a couple of things that should be considered when maximizing your speeds. And it's because of this, uh, broadband speeds will always be greater. And so why do you think Comcast chose Verizon uh, to operate their cellular plant? Comment below. Let me know what you think. Four hours, right? Why only four hours? Well, back in 2016, the FCC required all broadband providers to redesign cable and DSL modems to have bigger backup batteries. So in theory, you could surf the web for up to eight hours during a power outage. You know, those of us in the field, we know that this is complete garbage, right? Because if the plant's down, how are you going to surf anything? But I digress. More and more common these days, uh, modems don't have backup batteries, right? So which modems did? Uh, enter the Aris Touchstone uh, TM822 <laughs> modem, right? These modems, like many other modems of its time, is an EMTA. Yeah, these modems have an analog to digital telephone adapter along with the cable's network access hardware. 
we can see in the spec sheets that along with the RJ45 Ethernet ports, there's also an RG11 telephone port. Here is where you would plug the phone lines into the EMTA. Here we can see a variety of backup batteries to choose from. Now, it's my personal experience that even though some of these batteries are rated at six to eight hours, uh, a lot of them uh, only lasted four hours, which is probably where they get this uh, reliable four hours of backup time, probably using the same batteries for this device. It is here where I commend Xfinity for coming up with this sort of device. Surely that's a need, right? Customers want to stay online. So this is a great idea, uh, but I am largely unimpressed. To me, it simply combines the power sensing uh, backup ability of an old school EMTA uh, with a 4G LTE antenna. And therein lies the final concern for this device, right? The availability of bandwidth for use it should go without saying that the more devices you have online, uh, the slower your speed is gonna go. It's gonna drop even further than expected. So there's that issue. How you mitigate that, it really depends on your situation. So all in all, the Storm Ready Wi-Fi extender offered by Xfinity would seem to be a great device for those of us who would need it. Right, it's a pretty good idea. And I'm surprised other ISPs and all other uh, internet service providers don't have a product uh, that's like this, right? But what do you think? Is this something uh, you would pick up for your family? Do you think it's a great idea? And um, like, how could this thing be improved if it could be? Uh, comment below, let me know what you think. Uh, other than that, man, you guys have a nice one. We're going to try a live stream in the future. I got a great guy who's going to show up. Uh, he's got a couple of ideas he wants to share with you. And here is my Xfinity experience that I told you about. Other than that, you guys have a nice one. Take care. How you doing? Oh, good. How are you? I'm well. Is it on display here at all? Sure. What do you get? This is it. Yeah. That's nice. So it's like, so it's pretty much a, like uh, an extender, but if you're, I guess, stay stay reliable, connected through outages with free unlimited cellular data. Is that what it says right there? And battery pack included. So pretty much, if, if the power goes out, if the Wi-Fi goes out, that that comes up as a as a what's it called? What do you call those? Uh, it comes up as a mini cell, then, right? No, it'll come up as like a, a backup router, so a backup Wi-Fi. Yeah. So say like power, power, or anything go out, that'll be your backup Wi-Fi. And there is power. So this is it, huh? You said there's a backup battery? Yeah, there's a backup battery. Well, That's what that is. It doesn't come separate? Yeah, dude, I don't want to waste your time. That guy looks important. I'm not going to get anything today. I'm just here to do research. No, no. Yeah, yeah. He'll come back and help you out with all that. Right, thanks, man. All right. So, yeah, you end up getting the Gigabyte Extra. It's a hundred dollars. Yeah. Or one one oh five, something like that. And then you get the Storm Ready for free. You don't pay for the Storm Ready Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. Um, the Storm. I don't know if you know this, but when you're not using that as a backup battery, mm -hmm. it's a Wi-Fi extender. So it'll extend your Wi-Fi for you as well when it's not using the battery back. So the big block thing, that's the... Uh, that's the battery backup. You sure? Because it looks like the big block thing is the antenna. The smaller block this thing is, is the backup. The, modem itself. the right. smaller guy is the battery backup. Right. So, so I thought you meant the big block because it looks like a big square. That's mm -hmm. what I thought you meant. But you were talking about that one. Yes. Okay. So 
The, the one on the right is the battery backup. The one on the left is the actual power. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, so like, does the, uh, like, yes. what do we, do the speeds change? No, like, how, how does this thing I'm really here, operate? Yes, if you have to use that, it goes from 1,200 down to 50. It goes from 1,200 down to 50. But you get four hours. Of, it's not meant for multiple, for multiple right. devices. Right. So, when you are using that, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. you just want to make sure you only put one device on. Interesting. So, like, yeah, I got six kids. Like, they, they all like to be streaming on their devices, right? So... That's only for if the power goes out. Right, so, so if, if the, the power, power goes, goes out, out, I gotta just... snatch everybody's phones and tablets? Yeah, because it won't work. Interesting. It won't do all those for... It's a 50... No, I'm sorry, it's a 100 megabyte. Uh, it's a it's 100? Not... Let me make sure I'm right in the same. Okay. No, I, you know what? I think I'm wrong. I think it's 75. Oh, wow. 75 meg. But, I mean, you still get a, an internet. Like, it's meant for to use for emergency cases. If, if your power goes out and you still need the internet for something, you can still use that as a backup. Now, is it going to, like, let's say you have 32 well, devices. Is it going to handle all 32? Probably not, right? No, it won't. So I would have to... You know, confiscate phones and yeah. put the kids on lockdown because yeah. they can't be trusted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, that seems like a great idea, man. I don't think any other provider has ever come up with something like this. Well, what I like about it the most is, let's say you were to purchase a Wi-Fi extender, it's mm -hmm. $120, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. This works as a Wi-Fi extender, so you're getting two different products out of one. Interesting. Yeah. So, so it, it's like a repeater. As well as, it's a Wi-Fi extender. It's an extender. So, like, hey, what's the difference between an extender and a repeater? I don't know what a repeater is. It's an extender. As so, I've been led to believe, I right? I, I don't know. I, I've never stuff. heard that that mm -hmm. terminology before. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard Wi-Fi extenders. That's why we call it that. Mm -hmm. We used to call it Xbox. Ah, that's what that is. Nobody knew what it was, so now we call it a Wi-Fi extender. Interesting. So it still says X5 Pod in there, but mm -hmm. we're going to change that. These are just all in the ones. We're mm -hmm. going to change that to Wi Fi extender. Because <laughs> ah. that's what everybody knows it as. You know? Interesting. So we want to do what everybody knows it as. Gotcha. So gotcha. that's what we're going to market it as. That's what the boxes are going to go out as as soon as we get rid of all the old ones. But we have a ton of them. Okay. Well, um, seems, like, seems like it might be something. My old lady works from 